Please stand for the arrival of the official party. Honors to Admiral Christopher W. Grady, United States Navy, Vice Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. The presentation of colors, the playing of the national anthem, the retirement of the colors, and the invocation. The invocation will now be delivered by Chaplain Miracle. Please help me pray in your tradition as I pray in mine. Dear God, we stand here with many distinguished guests, faculty, families, and graduates of the National Defense University. As we gather here, we recognize the significance of this graduation moment, a moment that marks a culmination of so much hard work, study, interpersonal relationship, and at times sacrifice. Today we celebrate not only the achievements of these graduates, but also their shared commitment to global security, cooperation, and peace. This graduating class includes over 600 students from the United States and a number of our allied and partner nations. This diversity reflects interconnectedness across the world and the importance of collaboration and addressing complex challenges that we all face. As each graduate celebrates as they receive their degree, we find ourselves in a rapidly changing world with significant challenges. May you use these different events solidified here in relationships, camaraderie, and development across the international environment to bear fruit and support in the years to come. 
when they must navigate the intricacies of geopolitical issues, may they look back to this time, be reminded of this blessed day, the connections they made, the support and the ability to work together towards a common goal in, in this great institution. May each leader present here continue to foster and support ongoing educational process of every single person in this class and all future classes. May God give each person and family represented here grace, mercy, and understanding to shape the future, rise to significant positions of responsibility, and make decisions that benefit the whole global society. To your name we pray, for God and country, amen. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the 17th president of the National Defense University, Lieutenant General Michael T. Plain, United States Air Force. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And I thought it was really unique to have a name like Plain and be in the Air Force, but to have a name like Miracle and be a chaplain I think takes it up another level entirely. So good morning and welcome, Admiral Grady. Thank you so much for being here today, sir. Ambassadors, fellow general and flag officers, honored guests, you really and truly honor us with your presence today. I would also like to offer a special welcome to our students, soon to be graduates and their families and our faculty and staff. Graduations are among the most important ceremonies of the academic year. And we're pleased so many of you could join us today. To the class of 2024, you are the reason we're here this morning. And you're also the reason why NDU exists as an institution. Thank you for your hard work and perseverance as our faculty and staff provided you with the world's premier joint professional military education experience this year. And you're gonna need that education because the contours of today's global security environment are shaped by a reemergence of great power competition, rapidly emerging disruptive technologies, demographic shifts, and so much more. And the pace of that change is speeding up. So within this context, one of the best investments our nations make is to prepare you, the next generation of senior leaders, to think and lead strategically so you can succeed across the spectrum of cooperation, competition, and conflict. The members of this NDU class represent all branches of the United States military and 30 federal agencies of the US government, including the State Department and Homeland Security and many others. Multiple private sector firms are represented and 150 international fellows from 80 different allied and partner nations. Together, you brought tremendous diversity of perspective and experiences into our classrooms. You exposed us all to a wider range of viewpoints and ways of thinking about and solving problems. I would tell you the entire NDU team is proud of your academic accomplishments, and we're also very pleased at the network of professional relationships you've developed here. I encourage you to stay engaged with one another. In a few minutes, each of you will join the ranks of NDU alumni who have gone on to lead at the pinnacle of military, security, and diplomatic service. And if history is any uh, predictor at all of the future, this class also undoubtedly contains many future generals and admirals and ambassadors and other national security leaders. So as you walk out the door, no pressure. <laughs> now it is my distinct honor to introduce our commencement speaker, Admiral Chris Grady, a native of Newport, Rhode Island, and a graduate of the Notre Dame University, is the 12th Vice Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. In this capacity, he is a member of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and the nation's second highest ranking military officer. In past assignments, he commanded the USS Ardent, the USS Chief, the USS Cole. Destroyer Squadron 22, Carrier Strike Group 1, Naval Surface Forces Atlantic, and the U.S. Sixth Fleet, and concurrently, Naval Striking and Support Forces, NATO. He most recently served as the commander of United States Fleet Forces Command, based in Norfolk, Virginia, responsible for providing combat-ready forces to numbered fleets and combatant commanders around the globe in support of U.S. national interests. Admiral Grady is the U.S. Navy's old salt 
recognizing his extensive knowledge and expertise as a professional mariner and as the longest serving active duty surface warfare officer in the United States Navy. His biography details his impressive career of service to our nation, but what is most important for this audience to know is he is a passionate advocate for joint professional military education and for the mission of the National Defense University. And oh, by the way, he's also a distinguished graduate of the National War College. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the 12th Vice Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Yeah, old salt. Yeah, last man standing. Uh, thanks, Mike. Uh, thanks for that kind introduction. And good morning, everyone. It really is an honor and a privilege for me to be here today. So first, my thanks to the faculty, the staff, the mentors, the NDU Foundation, as we recognize this very special day for the graduates of National Defense University. And before I go further, I just want to take a moment to recognize the team that put this amazing event together. So how about a round of applause for all who made today's ceremony possible. And of course, a very special thanks to the families and friends, many of whom are here today. Uh, celebrating with their graduates. Your unwavering support has seen these spectacular men and women through many successes throughout their careers, and your support has been essential as they continue their commitment to service in the years ahead. And I think you prove what I know to be in my experience, that family readiness directly contributes to operational readiness, that a stronger family, family means a stronger force. So how about a round of applause for all of our families? <laughs> Truly, I am delighted to celebrate this day with you primarily because I get to spend it with you, but also because it gets me out of the Pentagon at least for two hours, and so that's always a very good thing. And certainly as a proud National War College graduate from the class of 2007, I very much remember my days here at Roosevelt Hall. It truly was one of the best years of my career. It was a lot of reading, and I did it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The big red bedroom was pretty comfortable. And we did, in fact, beat ICAF that year. So I think you call it Eisenhower now. So. But in the end, it truly was a rare time in my military service where I was able to dedicate a full year to intellectual enrichment and enlightenment, enabled both by a superb team of world-class academicians and just as importantly, by my rock star colleagues and com comrades in class. So I am pleased then to celebrate this day with you, to stand here at this podium as a reminder that this will not be your last trip to NDU. You will return to this hallowed institution in a virtuous cycle that will continue with further professional military education, staff assignments and staff rides, attending and addressing expert-led seminars and conferences, and as Mike said, hopefully capstone and pinnacle. Now I can hear some of you sitting in your seats thinking that I'm suggesting I send you back into your study carols to read another 300 pages and give me a brief or some kind of research prospectus, but that's not what I'm talking about. What I mean is that as graduates of NDU, you are the kind of strategic thinkers that our nations and the world need right now. So we want you to continue your discourse with this institution and regularly refresh that font of knowledge that you now all possess. The highly dynamic world within which we all operate demands that we harness that intellectual firepower that resides here at this institution and focus it on the emerging challenges that lie ahead. And the challenges that we face in the 21st century are complex and they are multifaceted, requiring a whole of government approach. 
So this close coordination between allies and partners and military and diplomatic and civilian stakeholders is absolutely critical. So you see then an emerging and enduring value of an NDU education is the network of relationships that you have developed here that will serve you so well going forward. So as leaders then, I think it's incumbent upon you to build and nurture these relationships at home and abroad that enhance our collective security and promote peace and stability around the world. Whether it is outreach to your college faculty members connecting on academic concepts uh, as they relate to operational reality, or a seminar group still sharing ideas and thoughts on Signal, or submitting your own thoughtful analysis for consideration to the Joint Forces Quarterly, we all look forward to that continued academic journey that lies before you. Today, you will be NDU graduates, but tomorrow, you will be directing and integrating the nation's instruments of national and international power. And I expect you all to be lifelong learners, senior leaders who see it as their strategic imperative to achieve intellectual overmatch over our adversaries. Now, to our international fellows, Thank you for being here. You are the personification of what it means to be stronger together. The views that you brought to this academic environment ensure that all of us see a world from a different perspective and think more broadly about global security and the global commons. And thus, I trust that the common intellectual frameworks, the shared values, and the friendships that you had built here at NDU will be with you for years to come as you return to your homelands and continue your service at the highest echelons within your respective services and institutions. And for all of our graduates, civilian and military alike, across government and across industry, you will stand as vanguards to confront our nation's challenges in an increasingly complex geostrategic environment. At the end of World War II, the United States, along with its global partners, established a system of rules and institutions and of values that forged our current liberal international order. And the aggressive affronts to that order that we witness today demonstrate the world we live in is complex and it is dynamic and it is challenging and dangerous, thus demanding the utmost of leaders and decision makers like you. It is a world where the landscape of global competition is ever changing, where tyrants are emboldened to assert themselves on the international stage and where we witness unrelenting challenges to security, stability, and sovereignty. Today, Russia's unprovoked invasion of Ukraine still has the potential to disrupt this international rules-based order, which has secured peace and prosperity for nearly 80 years. And China's audacious actions across the spectrum of power in the Indo-Pacific and around the globe to diminish established norms and international law, to deny access to traditional logistics hubs, and to inhibit freedom of the seas reflects their desire for both regional and global dominance. And Iran's recent unprecedented attack of Israel threatens to further destabilize an already volatile re region and usher in a new status quo of escalation and of tension. Meanwhile, their backing of Houthi rebels in unlawful attempts to compromise vulnerable choke points threaten sea lanes of communication and may have outsized impacts on the global economy. Thus, by their words and their deeds, China, Russia, Iran, they all show us that autocracies are real, that naked aggression is real, and that war is real. This is a return to strategic competition, and our adversaries have the capability, the capacity, and the intent to threaten us, our allies and partners, and hold our interests at dear. 
We are forced to contend with the inciting actions of these nations while also facing the perennial aggressions of actors like North Korea and violent extremist organizations. And add to these geopolitical stressors the unprecedented advancement in technological innovation, a catalyst of the increasingly dynamic and changing character of warfare, which we see today and which we are certainly going to see in the future. And so, as threats grow more sophisticated, as technology advances exponentially, as bad actors seek to subvert international norms, and as challenges to national sovereignty continue to lurk, it is imperative that we maintain our warfighting advantage. In the face of this changing world, we must rely on our joint force and our allied partners in government and beyond to produce the highest caliber of leaders that our nations require. We must demand of these leaders the critical thinking, the intellectual curiosity, and the strategic vision necessary to deter our, ally, our adversaries and secure a peaceful future. So, make no mistake, your NDU education is a uniquely valuable investment in our national security, in our mutual interests, and in the preservation of our accepted global order. So for our graduates today, I want to leave you with two lessons. First, nothing is static. You must build processes and battle rhythms that are habitual, that are repeatable, and that allow you to iterate yet remain flexible. You will feel buffeted by the current plague, by the crush of a deadline and the crisis of the moment, but you are not bound by the tyranny of now. You have received an education that will prepare you for the future an education that demands that you break the narrow confines of today to keep your gaze on the horizon and the complex challenges that it brings. So trust in this foundation, trust in your processes, and trust in the long view. Second, never lose sight of the human dimension of warfare. You will leave here as effective strategists, able to conquer whatever this world has to in store for you. Still, I need you all to be effective leaders, so lead your people and lead them well. Geopolitical complexities, the rapid spread of information or disinformation, state-of-the-art weapon systems, these are truly novel, but it is our people, our greatest competitive advantage. They are the center of our universe. Remember that behind every strategic concept, every tactical maneuver, and every operational plan are real people, soldiers and sailors, airmen and marines, guardians and coast guardsmen, whose lives and well-being depend on your leadership. The ideals that you uphold, the principles you swear to support and defend are in service to them every time and every day that you wear this uniform, and every day that you arrive at the office. Our people demand and deserve the very best that we can give them, lead them well. So remember, you are not just NDU graduates, you are part of a distinguished community of leaders who share a common commitment to the defense of our nation. As you embark on this new chapter in your career, you do not walk alone. You carry with you the collective wisdom and experience of those who have come before you. A distinguished group of national security leaders that include chairman and vice chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, service chiefs, combatant commanders, secretaries of state, ambassadors, ministers and chiefs of defense, and distinguished business leaders. Sure, your journey will undoubtedly be filled with, filled with trials and triumphs, but I have every confidence you possess the courage and the toughness and the determination to overcome any ob obstacle that is put in your way. Just like your pre predecessors, who during times of active and cold war kept our nation safe, preserved the rules-based international order, and kept the global commons free and open. So thank you, Mike, for the opportunity to speak today. 
I'm honored to serve alongside all of you, and I'm delighted to congratulate you on your many, many successes now and in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you, Admiral Grady. We will now begin the conferral of the degrees to the qualified graduates of the class of 2024. I ask that you be considerate and not block the view of others if you rise to take photos. Ladies and gentlemen, the Chancellor of the College of Information and Cyberspace, Dr. Cassandra Lewis. Ravens. College of Information and Cyberspace, Class of 2024, will you please rise? <laughs> Lieutenant General Plain, I have the honor to present the College of Information and Cyberspace candidates who have fulfilled the requirements and are duly recommended by the faculty of the College of Information and Cyberspace for the degree of Master of Science in Strategic Information and Cyberspace Studies. Thank you, Chancellor Lewis. By the authority vested in me by the Congress and the President of the United States, I hereby confer upon each of you the degree recommended by the faculty of your college with all rights, privileges, and honors thereto pertaining. Admiral Grady and Chancellor Lewis, would you join me center stage, please? Will the first row of the College and Information and Cyberspace graduates come forward to receive your diplomas? Will the remaining students please be seated? Sultan Al Jasmi, United Arab Emirates. Abdullah Al Kumi, Oman. Guy Aloni, Israel. Christopher Arnold. Fleming Asmussen, Denmark. Andrew Braun. Dante Brown. William Cater. Edward Cerny. Sheila Chambers. Christopher Clark. John Clifton. Irfana Dar. Casey DeGroof, distinguished graduate. Laszlo Doja, Hungary. Kenneth Flowers, Jr. Russell Forkin. Michael Goodenough, distinguished graduate. Matthew Gorsuch. Adam Hantman. Kathleen Harris. Jonathan Kopp. Latoya McFields Keith.
Shiraz Khan, distinguished graduate. Yohei Konishi, Japan. Ludovic Martin, France. Nancy Matei. Sunita Mahang. Hermie Mendoza. Amy Nicewick. Arthur Nicewick. Aaron O'Grady. Kyra O'Keefe. Samuel Oliver. Kevin Osborne. Jijo Ovelil, India. David Owili, Kenya. James Oxford. Lisa Pagano Wallace, distinguished graduate. Parul Patel. Emery Flegger. Rio Putra, Indonesia. Ahmed Kandil, Egypt. Jose Sanchez. John Schreiner, distinguished graduate. Franz Sitzwo, Austria. Primisul Stepanik, Czech Republic. Edward Swift, United Kingdom, distinguished graduate. Kenneth Takihana. Danielle Thomas. Brian Thompson. Jay Turner, Canada, distinguished graduate. Marsha Vons. David Willie. Jeffrey Wood. Florian Wolf. Germany. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commandant of the Dwight D. Eisenhower School for National Security and Resource Strategy, Major General William Seeley, United States Marine Corps. The Eisenhower School Class of 2024, will you please rise? <laughs> Lieutenant General Plain, 
I have the honor to present the Dwight D. Eisenhower School for National Security and Resource Strategy candidates who have fulfilled the requirements and are duly recommended by the faculty of the Eisenhower School for the degree Master of Science, National Resource Strategy. Thank you, Major General Seeley, and we may need to create a new President's Cup category for best clapping. Yes. <laughs> By the authority vested in me by the Congress and the President of the United States, I hereby confer upon each of you the degree recommended by the faculty of your college with all rights, privileges, and honors thereto pertaining. Congratulations. Admiral Grady and General Seeley, would you please join me center stage? Will the first row of Eisenhower School graduates come forward to receive your diplomas? Will the remaining students please be seated? Mohammed Abdelhadi, Egypt. Basim Abdul Razak, Iraq. Brian Atkins, Jessica Atkins, Ahmed Kuseri, Ahmed Fadli, Malaysia, Dilya Akwami Tova, Kazakhstan, Earl Alexander. Hussein Ali Maldives. <laughs> Fahim Al Shahai, United Arab Emigrants. <laughs> Richard Anton. <laughs> Jacob Applin Alp. <laughs> Wanda Ayuso. <laughs> Russell Badowski, Distinguished Graduate. Thomas Baker, Distinguished Graduate. <laughs> Carol Oview, Balasu Brahmanium, Bala. <laughs> Ratik Benjadi. <laughs> Jay Bao. <laughs> Wendy Barden. Aaron Baum. <laughs> Gary Beisner, Distinguished Graduate. <laughs> Connor Benedict. <laughs> Richard Bennett, Canada. <laughs> Stoddard Binder. <laughs> Elizabeth Blakeman. Michael Blasky, Gregory Blewett, Peter Borsick, Jennifer Bosworth, unable to attend, Muhammad Ali Buchima, Algeria, Dwayne Bowden, Vanessa Bowman. Jason Braun, Madeline Bro, Nicholas Breen, Tabu Brooks, Lee Bruner, Anthony Bryant. Jason Kabul. Kevin Caesar. Scott Cameron, distinguished graduate. Kevin Camanil. 
Christopher Campbell, distinguished graduate. Benjamin Caravan. Alvin J. Kapingayan, Philippines. Daniel Carfino. Aaron Carper. Juan Castillaja, Jr. Christina Cavallo. Sharon Chang. Tina Chang. Benjamin Chapman. Dong Hyung Cho, Korea. Chris Kristoff. Rosebert Clerville. Vivian Cochran. William Coleman. Jennifer Condon Proct. Georg Contag. William Cooper. James Corbett. Zachariah Cork. William Corley. John Conwell. Anthony Cotton, distinguished graduate, unable to attend. Jared Crane. Greg Kood. Gretchen Curtin. Christopher Curran. Christy Caritino. Marusz Czechko, Poland. Sarith Dahaya, India. David Damron. Pablo de Leon Franco, Guatemala. Udis de Souza, Brazil. Matthew de Corsi. Nage Durbel, Tunisia. John Baptiste Descolangis, France. Ryan DePaulo. Justin DiVianzo, distinguished graduate. Latika Dixon. James Donchez. Michael Dovegar. Robert Doyle. Georgios Dragodotkis, Greece. Nicole Droni. Lauren Dufresne. Devron Eakins, distinguished graduate. Scott Eberly. Tarhisha Ellis. Robert Engelman. Kechokohuku Nwafa. Timothy Erickson. Heather Fabricant, distinguished graduate. George Fadis, Lebanon. Gregory Farrell. Robert Ferryman. 
Alan Fowler, distinguished graduate. Daniel Fredberg, distinguished graduate. William Frederick. Brandon Galindo. David Gamble, distinguished graduate. Eugene George GSQ. Henry Gilbert. Alexandra Adrian Gabjila, Romania. Shimia Grant. Robert Gray. Gregory Grayson. Stephen Green. Peter Green. Eric Golwag. Almir Hela Lickett. Bosnia Herzegovina. Byron Hall. Micah Hall. Michael Hanno. Todd Harkrader, distinguished graduate. Yulinda Harper. Valisa Harris. Esther Harrop, New Zealand. Christopher Hartnett, distinguished graduate. Daniel Hatcher. Dartanian Hayward, unable to attend. Corey Dunherd, distinguished graduate. John Hines. Benjamin Hendricks. Tyler Hicks. Thomas Hillary. Kenneth Hiddle. Shannon Holmes. Brandon Horton. Abu Hussein, Bangladesh. Ashley Housley, distinguished graduate. Ryan Howard, distinguished graduate. Sean Howlett, unable to attend. Joshua Risick. David Hudak. Alicia Johnson. Delano Johnson. Felicia Johnson. James Johnson. Jesse Johnson. Anna Kelly. Jason Kinzerski. Matthew Kessler. Daniel Kim. Distinguished graduate. Termel Kindred. Eric Cobes. Molly Koshina. Bonnie Kovach. Daniel Kramowski. Georgie Kuriash Vili, Georgia. George Kambaya, Tanzania. Kenneth Lamb. 
Jason Lambert. Charles Larson. Ryan LeBlanc. Jennifer Ledford. Anthony Lee. Sean Lee, distinguished graduate. Omar Leon Oraro, Mexico. Marcy Lewis. Many Liberati, Israel. Brian Loftus. Eric Lohman, The Netherlands. Amanda Love. Jason LeCue. Matthew McFarlane, Distinguished Graduate. Erica Mance. James Marsh. Ruzman Matt, Malaysia. Chad Maynard. Kimberly Mazur. Julia McAdams. LeBaron, LeBaron McBride. Stephen McFarlane. Daniel McMorris. Edwin Medina Terzona, Colombia. Melody, Melodiv, Bulgaria. Scott Metzler. Catherine Miller. Danielle Miller. Jasmine Miller Dixon. Anthony Miranda, unable to attend. Melvin Mitchell. Rajay Mohan, unable to attend. Jeanette Molina. Heather Moore. Andrew Morris. Robert Morris. Vincent Morris. Johnny Morse. Leslie Munford. Jonathan Mummy. William Murphy. Charles Newton. Dirk Niedermeyer, Germany. Tara O'Connell. Karen O'Connor. Okechuku Obu Awa. Tyler Olson. Tomoyuki Ono. Samuel Apalar. Annie Otten. Shiba Panta Nepal. Anthony Pascal. Thomas Pauschi. Justin Pendry. Wolfgang Peterman. Kenneth Peters. Valentin Petrushenko, Ukraine. St 
Stacy Pilling. Dustin Pitch. Pedro Pladevila. Michael Plagman. James Platner. Sean Polenke. Matthew Pope. Gregor Poster, Sweden. John Powers, distinguished graduate. Christopher Prentice. Crystal Perventure. Colleen Quinn. Frank Quintana. Stefan Raklu, Canada, distinguished graduate. Mohammed Omer Rashid, Pakistan, distinguished graduate, unable to attend. Andrew Rakazak. Andrew Reed. Walter Reed, distinguished graduate. Daniel Richardson, distinguished graduate. Sarah Richardson. Sean Rourke. Scott Robinson. Hector Rodriguez. James Rodriguez. William Root. James Rohr. Jason Rowe. Jeremy Ruby. Molly Sanchez Crow. Molly Schaefer. Yancey Scott. Crystal Sesams. Pamela Shepard. Matthew Shirley. Aititayo Shoda, Nigeria. Michael Scholl. Myron Simpson. David Smith. Sangwon Sok. William Spears. Shea Stanford. Donald Steele. Alan Steffens. Eric Stinson. Steven Sturgeon. Eric Suits, distinguished graduate. Alexandra Sullivan, distinguished graduate. Sarah Summers, distinguished graduate. Kareen Takiyama. Daniel Tantlo. Herbert Thompson, not available. Dustin Tipling, oh, here he is. Herbert Thompson. Dustin Tipling, distinguished graduate. John Tolan. Gregory Tomlin, distinguished graduate. Keith Tony. David Tran. James Trent. 
Thomas Tucker. Emina Weaker Seeding Turkey. Richard Vakari Elo. Tamara Van Hoos. Daniel Vergetz. Krista Wagner, unable to attend. Michelle Wagspack. Tobin Walker, distinguished graduate. Timothy Walsh. Mallory Wampler. Evan Ward, distinguished graduate. Philip Warren. Reto Wasmer, Switzerland. Carrie Way. Corrine Wentworth, distinguished graduate. Timothy Whalen. Didia Wajia, Indonesia. Kyle Wilhelm. Dorothy Jo Williams. Dwayne Williams. Simeon Williams. Susan Williams. Dante Williamson. Catherine Whitwer, distinguished graduate. Richard Wood. Jose Sambrano. And Mark Zimmer. Ladies and gentlemen, the Chancellor of the College of International Security Affairs, Ms. Denise Marsh. College of International Security Affairs, CISA, Class of 2024, will you please rise? Lieutenant General Plain, I have the honor to present the College of International Security Affairs candidates who have fulfilled the requirements and are duly recommended by the faculty of the College of International Security Affairs for the degree Master of Arts in Strategic Security Studies. Thank you, Chancellor Marsh. By the authority vested in me by the Congress and President of the United States, I hereby confer upon each of you the degree recommended by the faculty of your college with all rights, privileges, and honors thereto pertaining. Congratulations. Admiral Grady and Chancellor Marsh, would you join me in center stage, please? Will the first row of the College of International Security Affairs graduates come forward to receive your diplomas? Will the remaining students please be seated? Fuad Amadav, Azerbaijan. Mustafa Almoji, Egypt. 
Suleiman Al Mutari, Saudi Arabia. Khalid Al Sada, Yemen. Murshid Al Shukari, Oman. Saini Al Zuma, Niger. Okachuku Anabwogu, Nigeria. Harutian Arakelian, Armenia. Ndikam Asia, Cameroon. Travis Bertram. Kutim Butucci, Kosovo. Samuel Carson. Robert Carter. Abdusamad Shahid, Morocco. Yasid Chaparro Gamba, Colombia. Marvin Chase. William Krauss. Peter D'Amico, distinguished graduate. Jose Diaz Castro, El Salvador. John Easton, distinguished graduate. Mohamed Ezerhan, Algeria. Jacob Foley. Timothy Genon. Clayton Guard. Valdesir Gregory, Brazil. Lasha Gregolia, Georgia. Lauren Guibert, distinguished graduate. Fauzi Hamoudi, Tunisia. Mahmoud Hassan, Bangladesh. James Heller. Mikhail Kadesi, Lebanon. Zishan Karim, Pakistan. Kaharudin Katan, Malaysia. Nathaniel King. James Kurumba, Kenya. Semyon Kolinik, Ukraine. Ramanguli Kuliev, Turkmenistan. Kwa Yu Cheng, Taiwan. Isvan Matos, Hungary. Nathan McCormick, distinguished graduate. Gregory Merkel. Todd Miyahira, distinguished graduate. Ralph Nauruzbaev, Kazakhstan. Amadou Ndai, Senegal. Anthony Poletti. Moakani Pichana, Botswana. Radu Popa, Moldova. 
Asti Yasin Pravati, Indonesia. Carson Relitz Rocker. Mark Rohrman, Germany. Miguel Sanchez Polanco, Peru. Ahmed Sheikh, Somalia, distinguished graduate. Oren Sima, Israel. Kevin Snow. Mohammed Abdullahi Suleiman, Mauritania. Balakchan Sumra, Mauritius. Yug Tani, Cote d'Ivoire. Scott Thornberry, distinguished graduate. Pablo Esteban Villagomez Maquillon, Ecuador. Christian James Vigno, Philippines. Borwan Sak Wise Rojehna, Thailand. Nicholas Velastudakis, Greece. Anton Wijayasakera, Sri Lanka. Michael Williams. Seth Womack. Scott Woodard, distinguished graduate, unable to attend. And Miroslav Zetrovich, Serbia. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commandant of the National War College, Major General Paul Rock, United States Marine Corps. to the National War College Class of 2024, please rise. <laughs> Lieutenant General Plain, I have the honor to present the National War College candidates who have fulfilled the requirements and are duly recommended by the faculty of the National War College for the degree Master of Science in National Security Strategy. Thank you, Lieutenant General Select Rock. I'm not sure who's going to win the clapping contest, but by the authority vested in me, by the Congress and the President of the United States, I confer upon you the degree recommended by the faculty of your college with all rights, privileges, and honors thereto pertaining. Admiral Grady and General Rock, would you please join me center stage? Will the first row of the National War College graduates come forward to receive your diplomas? Will the remaining students please take your seats? <laughs> Philip Abbott. Michael Adobo. Nate Adkins. Miriam Opera Siabi. Edward Ahn. Sultan Al Otabi, Saudi Arabia. 
Ahmad Aledi, Kuwait. Amjad Arut, Jordan. Ahmed El Musilihi, Oman. Lucas Anderson. Chris Andino. Christopher Andrews. Nicholas Arthur. Philip Ash. Heather Babb. Jonathan Ball. Nadav Bar, Israel. Newell Bartlett. Jason Becker. Sheikh Mohammed Bilal, Mauritania. Steven Berkowitz. James Bithorn. Mark Blakely. Jomia Blas. James Blue. Lauren Blum. Gregory Bodenstein. Jaru Pat Bonpum, Thailand. Brandon Berkowitz. Danny Bowie. Teddy Boyd, distinguished graduate. Alan Bronco. Matt Brown. Purvis Brown. Rachel Brunette Chen. Anthony Bruner. David Burkett. David Butler. Matthew Butler. Timothy Campbell. Ezra Kaplan. David Carter. Ryan Carter. Tim Carter. Rowenson Castillo Acosta, Colombia. Jennifer Cave. Ronaldo Champion. Asok Chand, Nepal. Matt Cherry. Chris Chan. Daniel Clark. William Cole. Jason Copeland. James Crabtree. Kelia Cummins, distinguished graduate.
James Curtin, distinguished graduate. Antonio De Rosa. Luis De Almeida Jr., Brazil. Kevin Dean. David DeHart. David Delmage. Nate DeRowan. William Detlitson. Nalinda Disanayaka, Sri Lanka. Trong Do. Natalia Dominguez. Mike Donovan. Stephen Dreyer. Rebecca Edwards. Jared Eckholm. Melissa English. Brian Eubank. Patrick Fahey, distinguished graduate. Maureen Farrell. Benjamin Ferguson. Claire Fisher. Brendan Fitzgerald. Unable to attend, Andrew Flashberg. Jeremy Ford. Anthony Freud. Chris Angel Fuller. Benjamin Fun. Anthony Fusilero, distinguished graduate. David Galloway. Eric Gielin. Francesco Giglio, Italy, distinguished graduate. Christopher Gillette. Brent Golden, distinguished graduate. Robert Gooden. <laughs> Gerald Goodno. Michelle Griffin. Richard Hanberg, distinguished graduate. Zachary Harrell. Danetta Harrington. Daniel Hayes. Stephen Healy. Colin Hedges. Kenan Hedrick, distinguished graduate. David Henderson. Christine Hirsch. Zachary Hughes, distinguished graduate. William Jamison. Inchol Jung, Republic of Korea. David Johnson, distinguished graduate. 
Stephen Johnson, distinguished graduate. Lawrence Jones. Kathleen Jordan Baldino. Pablo Juarez. Dennis Cotolan. Michael Kite. Robert Klein. Wesley Knight. Mark Koval. Mitchell Lango. Antti Lautala, Finland, distinguished graduate. Sun Le, Vietnam. James LaRue, Canada. Joshuen Lian, Taiwan. Eugenio Lopez. Joe Lujan. John McRae. Tina Matavoy. <laughs> Jeff Margulis. <laughs> Michael Mariner. <laughs> Scott Marmon. <laughs> Willie Mayshak. Elizabeth McDaniel. Scott McLaughlin. John Meixner. Brian Merkel, distinguished graduate. Stevie Merrill. Zadenek Mikola, Czechia. Noel Milian. Roman Mills. Nicole Mesita. Tamala Michener. Steven Mesigwa. Wesley Myers, distinguished graduate. Louis Nangolin, Indonesia. Mariana Neischuler, distinguished graduate. Jeremy Nelson. Adam Nestor. <laughs> Mohammed Saeed Anwar Nazi, Pakistan. <laughs> Donald Niss. <laughs> Jennifer Noizet. <laughs> James Nolan, distinguished graduate. Michael O'Donnell. Jaime Alaberez. Byron Owen. Andy Papadopoulos, Cyprus. 
Jason Parsons. Karen Peak, United Kingdom, distinguished graduate. Rakko Penev, Bulgaria. John Pepin. Luis Armando Perez Chavez, Mexico. Jason Potter. David Rainey. Philip Raymart. Brett Ristrom, Australia, distinguished graduate. Candice Rodriguez. Shannon Rogers. Hannah Rollins. Christina Royal. Kyle Rikazeski. Robert Henry Sago, Ghana. Kirby Sanford. Munir Sani, Nigeria. Roman Sani Kidse, Georgia. Elizabeth Sarnowski. Thomas Scary. Shelly Seaver. Sherry Schutgard, distinguished graduate. Abhinash Singh, India. Kenneth Smith. Benjamin Spector. Matthew Stewart. Ryan Stoner. William Strohecker, distinguished graduate. Alexis Sullivan. Carl Sundin. Stephen Surveyance. Osman Tat. Eric T. Hideki Terasaki, Japan. Thibaut Thomas, France. Jonathan Tai. Andrea Tomaszewicz. Tin Tran. Cynthia Travers. Gondurch Zareen Dabga, Mongolia. Jonathan Turley. Quentin von Kirkhoven, Belgium. Christopher Van Vossen. 
John Wallace. Andre Walton. Todd Watts. Christopher Wetterer. Mark Weinberg. Mark Begon, Germany. Michael Williams. Jesse Wilson. Unable to attend, Blake Witherall. Michael Wolf. Danielle Wood. John York, distinguished graduate. Bridget Young. Kimberly Young. Amanda Zapian, distinguished graduate. Will all the graduates of the class of 2024 of the National Defense University please stand? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present the National Defense University's 2024 graduates of the College of Information and Cyberspace, the Eisenhower School for National Security and Resource Strategy, the College of International Security Affairs, and the National War College. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Please remain standing for the benediction by Chaplain Miracle and the departure of the official party. And now receive the benediction. God, as we leave this place, may we always remember that with a graduation comes joy, celebrations, and revelry. May you go before each graduate and walk with them across all the, the considerations and momentous occasions and the things that they will face in the future. As we celebrate this achievement with them, may you continually remind them of the lessons learned here, the relationships that they made, and the lifelong connections for the next journey. May each one walk safely along the pathways to their next goal. May God gently hand guide each decision that they make through the passions which they follow. We pray the richest blessings upon each graduate, family member, faculty member, and distinguished visitor and guest, and support them in a bright and impactful future. It's in your name we pray, for God and country. Amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's graduation ceremony. Before leaving Fort McNair today, you are welcome to join our newest graduates and our faculty at a reception hosted by each of the colleges. CIC, CISA, and the Eisenhower School 
will host a combined reception in Marshall and Lincoln Hall, and the National War College in Roosevelt Hall. Thank you and congratulations again to the newest graduates of the National Defense University.